Hi, welcome for our uh, online uh, training sessions. Okay, so in this session, we are going to talk about uh, how we will go for migrate the data from legacy systems into fusion applications. So if the clients are already using some applications, maybe they will be using some other ERP system, or maybe they will be using some other general application. So they might have created items, purchase orders, suppliers, customers, all this data. Now they wanted to go for upload this here, then it will be used here. Okay, so now we are going to talk about this FPDA process, file-based data import process. There are multiple ways we can go for import the data from other systems into fusion applications from other systems into fusion applications. What are the different ways? Data migration process. Data migration process, we can do it by using spreadsheet data loader. By using spreadsheet data loader, we can go for import this data or we can use file-based data import process, a BDA, or we can use REST or SOAP APIs and we can go for import the data or we can use OSC, Oracle Integration Cloud, OSCS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. By using this tool also, we can exchange the data from other applications into our fusion applications. These are the different ways we can go for migrate the data from other applications into this. Of course, other ways, as usual, we'll log into the applications and we'll create uh, transactions in the front end. We are going to create the transactions. Out of all these uh, different processes, even though we are a functional consultant, we are supposed to be very clear how to work with the spreadsheet data loader, how to work with the FBDA process, file-based data input. It's our job as a functional consultant. We are supposed to uh, work in fusion applications, data migration process. When these two uh, things are used, if client wants to do a lot of validations or web application automation, exchanging the data through APIs, then technical developers will enter into the process. As a functional consultant, we are supposed to give the uh, flow of data migration. Data migration flow we are supposed to provide. Nothing but uh, how we will get the data from the legacy system, what is the input, and uh, in fusion applications, what data is expected, and how we have to go for map, what validations we are going to check before we load into fusion applications. This, this is all data mapping process we are supposed to do it. So that, that time as a functional consultant, our role is just preparing the document and designing the process and finally testing the application whether all the records has been imported successfully into the cloud or not. Yeah, but when it comes for a spreadsheet data loader and a BDA process, some clients will expect uh, you are supposed to do because it's not uh, the coding part. It's a general data migration process. So obviously we are supposed to do that process. Okay. Spreadsheet data loader is very simple. It's just uh, you need to download the template. and It's almost like a page. We do the data entry and when we click submit button, data will be uploaded into the base tables here successfully. But when it comes for a BDA, file-based data import, then we are going to have a standard process here. We are going to have the standard process here. We are supposed to follow standard process, okay? So when we go for a BDA process, we will be doing first download the, we have to download spreadsheet from the Oracle. To download the spreadsheet from Oracle so that we have to do it. So Oracle has provided a BDA templates for almost all the objects. For example, if we talk about inventory, we have the spreadsheets for item creations and we have the spreadsheet for performing the transactions and also purchase orders, requisitions, receipts, sales orders, almost for all the objects, we have a BDA process. Now we are going to talk about uh, in this session, items import, item import we'll be discussing. So here, a BDA process, we will check uh, here different options, different. But if you work for any BDA process, whether item or purchase order or requisitions, any BDA process, the sequence of steps are same. Sequence of steps are same here it is, 
Okay. So first, what we have to do is we have to download the spreadsheets from Oracle. We have to download the spreadsheet from Oracle. After downloading this spreadsheet from Oracle, we need to fill the data and validate the data. So here we have to fill the data and then we have to go for validate the data, whatever we have entered the spreadsheet. Sometimes client will ask us, uh, can you provide a template so that I'll fill the data and give it to you so that you can start uploading? Yes, we'll also prepare that uh, template and we'll give it to the client. So they'll go for fill the data. Either they'll fill it manually or they can go for write some APIs to generate the data into that particular file automatically. So that APIs will open the file and fill the data. So that is a uh, extraction. They they'll do it from other systems. That is their uh, uh, other team, other whatever technology they are using. The technology developers will write a program. We are not going to involve in that. Yet. So once we go for fill the data and validate, then what we do? We'll go for uh, convert uh, the spreadsheet into CSV and zip file. So whatever the spreadsheet we have filled, we have to go for convert the spreadsheet into CSV and zip file. Convert the spreadsheet into CSV as well as to the zip file we are going to perform. We are going to perform into the CSV and zip the file. Then we'll save the file after this preparation, the CSV and zip files. We have to save these files into the server. When we are working with the Oracle Fusion Cloud environment, if we want to keep the files, we have a separate server. We call it as a UCM server, Universal Content Management. Universal Content Managers, UCM server we are going to have. Save the file in UCM server. Let's keep it in zip file. So whatever the zip file we have prepared, that we have to keep it in UCM server. Universal Content Manager. UCM stands for Universal Content Manager. Then after we save this zip file in the UCM server, then we have to run the program. So we have to go for run the program called load interface file import, file for import. This file we have to run. If we run this program, what happens? System will try to load the data into the interface tables. It will try to load the data from, from your zip files into interface tables. Okay, so UCM stands for Universal Content Manager. Okay, so the data will be loaded into these tables. Then after we have the data in the interface tables, then we are going to run the program. So whatever the standard program is there, for example, you are loading suppliers data, import suppliers, you are loading invoices, import invoices, you are loading the items, import items. Like that, we have to run the standard program to load the data from interface tables to base tables, okay? So we have to run the program, run main program. So what is the main program? Maybe item import, if it is item import, or if it is supplier import, we'll go for supplier import, or if it is sales order, import sales order like that right so that it will upload the data into the base tables. the data will be loaded into the base tables so in a bdi process what will happen the data will be imported first from your file to first data will be imported from file to interface tables then from interface tables to base tables that's the procedure we are supposed to follow in a BDA process. Okay. Let me save this file. Okay. So this is a standard procedure. If we work for any, any BDA process, we'll be using in financials module or in supply chain management module. We are supposed to follow. These are the steps required to perform this. We will go for one by one. Where do we find this? Where do we find these spreadsheets in Oracle? 
Okay, so we can get it directly from Oracle documentation. Let's go to our Oracle documentation here. We are going for Oracle OER. Oracle OER, Oracle Enterprise Repository. Here only we'll find all our cloud documentations. All the functional consultants and technical consultants will be able to go through the documentation here. Okay, so we'll find FBDA in financials and supply chain management, but not in HCM. You don't find a HCM. For human capital management, Oracle has given an alternative called HCM Data Loader, HDL. HDL has given by Oracle. So in, H in human capital management modules, we don't use FBDA. We will use spreadsheet data loader. Spreadsheet is there everywhere. Uh, and the REST and SOAP APIs are there. And uh, OACS tool is there. But FBDA is only for financials and supply chain management. Maybe I think it's there for a project portfolio also. I'm not sure about that. For PPM and revenue management modules also, they might have given this feature. Okay. So now let's say we are working for our inventory module. We are working for inventory module for data loading. Go to inventory management. In inventory module, go to all books. Go to all books. Whenever we go to all books here, we will find first the cloud introduction. So what is cloud? what is cloud applications, what is the maintenance process and other. Then we will find user gates, how we can go ahead with the module and what are the different features we have, particular modules. Then we will find implementations. This is our job. As a functional consultant or technical consultant, we are supposed to implement the product to the client, right? So this is an implementation gates process here. Here we can find module-wise implementation steps. Now I can see that here, file-based data import for supply chain management. Click on HTML. File-based data import for supply chain management. Now system is asking in the inventory module, which one you want to import? You want to import cycle counting? You want to import inventory transactions? You want to import uh, shipping? or you want to go for manufacturing modules, work order import, order management, like sales orders import, price list, and product life cycle management, product PIM module, product life cycle management here. If you want to go for an item import, then this is the item import uh, templates. Like this, we will find. Procurement, it comes late, separate, right? We entered into inventory management. Okay, so if we look at here, what system is telling? By using this process, is we can go for import the items information. And what is the object? Item. And once we build this particular zip file, where do we keep this item file in the server? In UCM account. We have to keep it. This is the path we are supposed to use exactly. We cannot keep the file, our zip file in another folder. We must keep it in exactly this in uh, UCM account. In the UCM account we are supposed to. Uh, keep it here. It is. Okay. Then we are going to find here the template. This is our standard template uh, we are supposed to follow. XLSM template. This is our standard template we are supposed to follow. XLSM template. Internally, whenever we go for prepare a CSV and zip file, system is going to prepare the control files. Item import information item revisions information, item categories input, like this, a lot of files will come. And then these are the jobs, okay? This is for item import, what I am just telling. Same way, if we are going to import the purchase orders information, then how we have to go through the template? Go to cloud. Prism Cloud Applications Documentation. Go to Procurement. Go to All Books here. Go down. Implementation. File-based data import for procurement. Select this. And here we can find what object you would like to go for import. Blanket purchase agreement, contract purchase agreement, or standard purchase orders, or you want to go for import requisitions. Okay. 
or you want to go for implode to the complete supplier model. Supplier, supplier address, supplier site, supplier contacts, supplier attachments, supplier site assignments. We are going to do all that operations over here. This is all operations we are going to perform over here it is. Okay. So this is going to be uh, for the pro procurement model. Like this, we have to go through that particular model. For example, if I want to upload the standard purchase orders, then go to this purchase orders import option. Then it will show us what is the object owner name and what is the UCM account here. Procurement purchase order and import. This is XLSM template. This is control files. And this is a scheduled process, and these are the interface tables we'll find. Okay, so this is how it will work in the FBDA process. Before we start development of any FBDA process, we have to be clear with the template, then we can start working with the particular process. And if we work for any FBDA process, this is a standard process we have to follow. Download the spreadsheet. Fill the valid data and go for cross-check the data is valid or not. And convert this spreadsheet, CSV file and zip file. Save the file into UCM server, means we have to upload into server. And then we have to run the interface program first. So once we run the interface program, what happened? It will load the data from flat file to interface tables. If there are any errors, we'll come to know there. If, if we have any, you know, where data is missing or data type is missing, type of errors will come to know. Then we'll run the main program to load the data from interface tables to base tables. Interface tables to base tables. So this is a procedure. So even if we are going to attend for an interview, they'll ask you, have you involved in a PDA process? Yes, we have involved. What is the procedure you will follow for data import from legacy system into Fusion applications? By using FBD, by using FBD. If you are using REST or SOPIs, we have separate. We have the separate options. And if it is OACS integration method is separate. Spreadsheet, we don't need to do anything. We have to install software called ADF Desktop Integrator. Just download the software and open the spreadsheet, enter the data and go for submit. The data will be uploaded automatically into the base tables direct. We don't need to follow this much of process. Thank you.